let's go to the bins. This was my last trip to the bins, at least for quite a while. I am 34 weeks pregnant and I'm gonna be 35 weeks this week. And it is just gonna to be too hard for me to get to the bins. My feet and ankles swell so much. And um, it is, the bins is over two hours away, like two and a half hours away from the hospital I'm delivering at. And I just don't think I should be going anymore until baby boy is here. And I don't know when I'll be ready to leave him. So who knows how long it's going to be. He's due the first week of September. So hopefully I can make it back this year. Um, I'm hoping, but I'm not going to make any promises. So we're going to be doing a lot of like thread up boxes and things like that. But um, as far as the outlet, I'm so sad because this is my favorite place. Um, but as far as the outlet goes, it's, it's going to be a while. So I tried my best to make the best out of this trip. Like I really went for it. Obviously this is a giant pile of clothes. Um, yeah. And it is on a rocking ottoman, which is so sketchy. Um, it's tried to fall over many times. So this bins was another, um, another Goodwill outlet in uh, Indianapolis and it was one that I don't think I've actually ever been to I thought that I had until I got there and realized no I don't I don't think so but it, it was a pretty good one they were really good about rotations um, they rotated every hour on the hour very unlike Dayton and one thing about the outlets in Indianapolis is they play really great music <laughs> and I know that seems maybe silly but in Dayton, like, they played, like, I don't know, it was more, like, it was just, like, older music and just not, it, it was, it kind of just made you want to fall asleep. But in Indy, they play some good music, like, real upbeat, like, newer music. Um, so, everything was $1.79 a pound. I, uh, I met my sister-in-law down there, and we took, we actually took two trips in, so we... We took a trip before lunch and then, and then stopped for lunch and then went back just for one rotation and found a ton of stuff. Really our carts were full like both times. So before lunch I spent $76.67, after lunch I spent $44.79, so total I spent $121.46 and this is all at $1.79 a pound. So I got 120 items and a half. 120 and a half items and I will explain. I, I just I just divided it by 120. So um, each item came out to a dollar and one cent per item. So I love it when we get close to a dollar. That that might be the lowest per item I've ever gotten. Like a lot of times it's like 115, 124 an item, but yeah, 101, we love to see that. And really it's probably because I've been getting a lot of baby clothes and baby clothes don't weigh much, so that's probably helping. All right, let's jump into it. So first item, we do have some baby clothes here. Sorry, I know that might bore some people, but look at this cute little hat. So it's just, it's not focusing on it, but cute little hat for baby boy for this winter. And then my sister-in-law actually found this, uh, but she found a whole little outfit for him. I think it's a beat. Yeah, so pants and shirt. And this is newborn size. I don't think I recognize this brand, but it's O-D-D-I? Why? Is that an I or a Y? Uh, O-D-D-Y? I didn't check comps or anything, honestly, but I get a lot of requests for 1X, size 1X in my lives and my live Poshmark shows. And so I wanted to pick up some more 1X tops and I just thought that was super cute and it's really soft material. Um, this is a 
little boys three months um, like plaid onesie. We've got a pair of Victoria's Secret leggings and the little dog here looks like it's in really great condition. I find a lot of these and the, the like logos or the little dog, um, they always look like pretty rough. So I think that's a good sign that they didn't get worn like a ton. Uh, but these are Victoria's Secret pink yoga leggings, size small. We've got Old Navy Active, size medium. These are just some gray joggers, dark gray, very comfy material. And honestly, there's quite a bit of the stuff that I am planning on selling in a live show. Of course, the more like expensive items I plan on listing to make more money off of them. This is Magnolia Grace, a size large. And this is just a gray dressy top. And I am planning on selling this in a live. We've got Reebok, is that Reebok? No, Under Armour. Under Armour, size small. And this is a like quarter zip, half zip, quarter zip. Um, sweatshirt is Heather Gray. I don't know this brand, it is Hayden. Um, this is a size large. I just got this based on style and because it is a large, um, I just really like the colors. It is a uh, mixed media top so that just means that it's got different types of material on it so like the sleeves are down here different than this we've got a little 12 month uh, onesie one piece i don't know it's shorts i don't know if that is that considered a onesie if it's shorts and i don't know well, anyway i thought that was cute i did find a lot of baby clothes which is great this is an oversized sweatshirt and it's airy, size medium, cozy, comfy. I definitely use those as keywords. And fall and winter are right around the corner. This is Van Heusen and it's just a men's dress shirt. I just got this for my husband. Um, I'm constantly trying to find him dress clothes to wear. I did get some baby girl stuff because my friend is having a girl and she's due three months after me. So um, here's a cute little onesie for her, long sleeve onesie. I don't, is this Eggy? E G Y and it's got an accent above the E. I don't know. Does this even have a size? Did I really pick this up without a size tag? I think I did. Okay, so honestly, <laughs> I did the least checking over my items that I've ever done before. I was so tired, my feet were so swollen, and I was like, I don't really wanna look through this. So I just briefly looked over everything. And I normally do try to look for a size tag, but I must've missed it on this one. So hopefully we don't find a ton of, um, you know, flawed items here. I did find a sweater. It was so nice. I think it was Italian. It was, I don't think it was Italian wool. I don't remember, but it was made in Italy, I believe. Um, and I found a hole in it and it was like very obvious hole and I can't believe I missed it. But um, yeah, so that is no longer with us. <laughs> well, anyway, I, I don't know the size of this, but it is just an open front cardigan. It's striped. And I just thought the colors were really pretty. Here's the back. Gotta figure out a size on that. Here's some little um, baby boy pants. This is in no particular order, obviously. This is Avenue. I got this based on uh, style and size. It's a 26, 28. And it's just really pretty flowy, floral top and there we go it's got this cut out v here in the front okay my pal hasn't fallen over yet all right little boys six month shirt it's just a plaid button up and a newborn little jacket with oh those are tr trucks um some kind of truck on it i thought they were dinosaurs that's a truck <laughs> i don't really remember picking this up, but that's okay. Um, retrofit 
fit right oh right my gosh retrofit retrofit wow size large um never heard of that brand but just a large uh, long sleeve shirt that may have been something that snuck in because i don't remember it at all but at least it's a large all right this is a medium top um it just says wander 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 lust wander lust on it and i just thought it was really cute might not sell for much but i just liked it i couldn't pass up i didn't want to see it go to a landfill but it was so cute and i'm sure i can sell it in a live okay this is a really interesting dress and i need to figure it out because we've got like a velcro situation going on so give me one second so this is kindred braverly and i'm not familiar with that but it seemed like good quality um it's a midi length dress and it's velcro it's velcro all the way down like individual velcros um probably should have looked this one up oh my gosh is the back oh my gosh the back is velcro all the way down too Oh my gosh, that completely comes apart in like two pieces. What? What is happening? I think um, I just got it because it was, it. it's a 1X slash 2X. So I love those plus sizes, but yeah, this is very different. I'm going to have to look that one up. Hopefully it does okay, but we don't know. Um, so this is a, I don't think it has any brand on it, but it's just a little, um, what is this called? Like a headband? winter headband it's got a little button here and i was just gonna keep this for myself it's a super cute little onesie got some camo baby pants and gray baby pants these shorts i just got for myself because they look comfy and i might even be able to wear them um, as maternity shorts they're just old navy size large i don't really remember getting this either <laughs> but that's okay i don't know maybe i just didn't look over it like at all uh this is dress barn and it's size medium um it's a black stretchy top with lace trim three-quarter like sleeve and i don't know i don't know if i've actually sold dress barn before um so we'll we'll see um this is live and let live and i don't know this brand here's the tag um but it is a size large and i do remember this one but um i got this just because it was a large and i thought it was really pretty it's got a lot of details here and i have been getting so many requests for dresses in my live shows and especially size large so i just snatched that up this is westport this is a size small. Um, I'm not really sure if this is focusing like on any of these tags, but um, this is just a cute like little boho top with floral sleeves. Um, I believe off the shoulder. You could probably do off the shoulder or not, but um, my sister-in-law was gonna throw this back and I was like, you know what? I bet I could sell that. All right, we've got Airy size medium. It's a sweater and a knit sweater. I know sweaters are going to be a very hot item very soon. Actually, no, not even, not even like very soon, like in the past, like this, the month of July, I have sold, I think I said this in my last video, but I have sold so many sweaters in July and I actually sold a coat like last week. So I say, I know a lot of people like to list things like only like to list sweaters like in the fall and I say list things any time of the year. I don't know this either. I don't know any of these brands today. Um, this is Thomas and Olivia and it's a size petite large. I swear I'm gonna get a new chair soon one day that doesn't squeak so much. <clears throat> um, but this is a very very soft sweater. Um, it's like a pink ish so soft i'll sell that in a live i'm sure um this is a little onesie with dinosaurs i swear we had his baby shower and 
<laughs> here's another dinosaur too but <clears throat> like all of the clothes people got him were dinosaurs which is fine but it was just funny um here's another dinosaur so hopefully he likes dinosaurs we got beach lunch lounge this is a size small and it's a little almost leopard print i mean i thought it was but now looking at it, it i don't know um maybe leopard print i'll at least uh put that in the like as a keyword but um it's a button down top and it's just like an artsy top i might put like watercolor almost or like painting um artsy this is zanana outfitters still never know how to say that size small a green and white striped um sweater knit sweater this one i don't this one's a little different it jingles and i don't i don't think it has a i think i looked and it doesn't have a brand tag anywhere but this is a free size skirt. It says free size, so like any size. And it is a maxi skirt, floral, very pretty. Um, yeah, very stretchy. So it seemed like it was good quality. Um, I'll try to find this on like, like using Google Lens, but yeah, it's interesting. This is Lane Bryant. I love finding Lane Bryant. This is a size 20 um, dress and purple, black, very like formal. It's very nice material and it looks like it's in green condition. We've got Signature by Sangria. Here is the tag and this is a petite extra large. So it is a, um, maxi dress yeah maxi dress and we've got lots of different patterns going on almost like a cheetah print there it's like it's in really great condition we've got under armor cold gear a size medium hooded sweatshirt very pretty purple color i think i'll sell that in a live we've got made well this is a size eight dress and it's very pretty very silky here's the back we've got an opening back here very very nice and i will definitely put um the keyword little black dress in this i think i found two of these i think there's another one in a different color uh, but this is gap size extra small and it is a like jumpsuit so racer back with a little knot back here. Jumpsuit and tie waist. Very pretty army green color. These are just a new day, which is a Target brand. Um, but these are some green pants. I just thought they were really cute. It's like almost like a paper bag style. It's got this belt here. Here's the back. And they were just in good condition. I couldn't pass them up. This is something I got for my husband. We've got strings on it. Um, I don't know if he's gonna like this color. So we'll have him try this on. Uh, but it's just a Sonoma size large, um, like kind of casual dressy. Um, what's the word for that? Business casual maybe? Um, shirt. This is a super cute little onesie for my friend's daughter. And this makes me want a girl so bad. I'm very, I'm very happy we're having a boy. I'm so excited, but hopefully one day we have a girl because just buying the girl stuff is so ugh, fun and so cute. This is Loft, size medium. It's a black and gray top. Here's the back. It's got like a, an opening up there little boy pants little boy top we're getting through this pile these are altered state size 26 and they are distressed holy denim jeans here's the back and sometimes i hate getting pants like this because you never know if it's like overly ripped 
Um, like there's a chance, I think this one might be like ripped more than it originally was supposed to be. Um, but I'll just make sure to take like really good pictures of it and then the buyer will know what they're getting. Here's a little baby girl onesie or a lot of baby clothes. These are Oldie the Active Power Chill um, Extra High Rise Go Dry Bike Shorts, <laughs> size medium. Um, but yeah, just, just some biker shorts. I don't know this brand. <laughs> so many brands to learn still. There's so many brands out there. Karina, um, but I got it just because it was an extra large floral dress and very pretty. Um, it's a midi length, which people love. And yeah, it's just very pretty. Here's a little boy's outfit. Oh my gosh, this kind of looks like the other brand. I don't know. Elages. Elages. No idea if I'm saying that right. Um, just a little tunic. To, is this a dress? No. No. This is a tunic top. Um, please have a size. Okay, size large. That's probably what I got. So a striped uh, tunic top and um, it's got that like layered look. And yeah, I just, just got it based on style. I thought it was really cute. It's got these buttons down there. Okay, this is where the half item comes in, I think. I'll explain in a second. Um, so this is, this is actually something my sister-in-law passed on. Um, this is Columbia, um, size extra large, it's a men's, but it's a very nice jacket. So in the pockets of these, I didn't realize until after I watched it, but there were gloves. Oh no, my pile, we're like almost to the end, don't fall now. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna have to hold it up with my leg. Um, so in the pocket was one of the there were I found three gloves okay so I washed the clothes and then I found three gloves I don't remember I, one of them was in this but um so we have a set of gloves here so I originally thought I only got 119 items I'm gonna count this as 120 and then we got another glove these are all really nice gloves so yeah 120 and a half items I hope I can find the other glove because those are nice gloves and I could use some nice gloves. All right, this is Cory America, size small. And um, I just got this on based on style. Um, I think that brand is like pretty decent. I think it's doing better now than it used to. But yeah, very pretty mixed media, um, long sleeve top. I don't know this brand, but of course, do I know any of these brands? But this just seemed very nice and maybe it's just not, but this is Adele Altman. Here is the tag and it's a black and brown dress. Um, it's a mini dress. Uh, so I need to look this up obviously, but um, it just seemed like great quality. The, the tag looked really nice. The brand seemed nice. I don't know. It's It may be nothing. This is Universal Thread, which I know is just Target, but it's an extra large um, sweatshirt. And I just have to pick up extra large if I see it and it's decent because I cannot keep extra large around. Here's a um, little sleeper. 12 month sleeper. Okay, here is the other jumpsuit. Yes, gap size extra small. So this jumpsuit is black. And there was a tissue in one of the pockets of something and it like completely shredded it like, all over everything. My feet are already so swollen just from being up here in the heat. This is philosophy size eight. And I really don't like picking up or selling like dress pants because I just have so many and they just don't sell very fast but these just seem like a little more unique and it's like more of a like cottony material I guess and it's stretchy and 
I don't know. I don't know how they'll do, but we'll see. This is an Old Navy size large pink jacket. Just loved the color. I feel like the colors in here aren't great today. I think my lighting is too bright. Um, another brand I don't know. This is Newport hoodie. It might be nothing. Um, it's a size medium. Here's the, I don't know if you can see that. There's the tag. Newport hoodie size medium. Um, but it, it seemed like a good quality hoodie and I love the color. I don't know. It's very thick though. Just, I don't know. The quality just seemed, seemed great. So we'll see if that's anything. If not, we'll sell it in the lab and it'll sell. This is Torrid size one, which is a one X. It's a striped uh, purple and white and gray short sleeve top. And this is classic, classic fit. Wear instructions, put me on and never take me off. Okay. Okay, this is one of my favorite things that I found and I screwed up on it. I'll show you, but I'm so mad. So this is a Madewell maxi dress. It's a size medium um, and it, I believe, was uh, new without tags um, or wasn't worn very often because it has the little... Um, like tag thing in it. I wish I had the whole tag, but um, so it's a maxi dress. I believe this is linen too, at least mostly linen. So when I went to check the materials, I noticed that that little tag was on it that says to cut off um, before you wash it or wear it. So I went to cut it off and as I was cutting it, I was like, mm, here it is. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. It seems a little, a little thicker than it actually is. Um, I could just tell, I could just tell that I had like some of the material in it and I sure did. I don't know if you can see this. So I put a, if you can see this, tiny little hole right here in it as I was cutting that off. Um, so that sucks, but I'll, I think it'll still sell. I'll just, you know, I have to now note that in the description and it was just in like really great condition. So, so mad at myself, but this is Pure Jill by J. Jill. This is a size large dress and it's almost, no, I guess it's not really paisley print. It's like floral, leafy, short sleeve. All right, we've got Nine West. This is a 16 size 16 W and it's a very nice purple dress. Um, kind of like Barney purple. That's pretty Barney purple. <laughs> uh, sleeveless dress, very great condition. We've got some little boy shorts and look at this one too. I love this. Look at the, I just love this color. It's ribbed and cute little buttons. Got another little outfit onesie thing. Somebody threw this back and I don't know why. I really should have checked the zipper, but the zipper actually looks good. Um, so this is American Eagle. It's just a little jean mini skirt and it's next level stretch, high rise mini, and it's a size six. So I don't know why somebody threw that back, but it looks great to me. Uh, don't know this brand, but I think I saw that. I saw this at least two or three times. It's E E some. <laughs> Don't know. Um, size medium. This is a really pretty green um, dress with balloon sleeves. And yeah, I'll probably sell it in the live. This is Victoria's Secret pink, size medium. It's a leopard print cropped long sleeve hoodie. Um, I guess it doesn't have a, a hoodie pocket. So maybe a hooded sweater is what you would technically call it. It's like that fuzzy material, very soft. 
Um, once I zipped this up, I was like, why did I pick this up? But it's okay. We'll sell it in the live. Um, but this is just gap fit size small and it just kind of like, when you look at it up close, it just kind of looks slightly worn. I don't know. I guess it's not that bad. I don't know. Um, this is size two American Eagle and they're just some light wash distressed holy denim jeans with the raw hem at the bottom. Um, my sister-in-law didn't want this. Um, I don't even know what this brand is. Trust, true, true self, true self size large. I don't know. I think it'll sell in the live. It's, it's really soft, stretchy. It'll probably sell. Maybe not for much, but. And then we found Patagonia. So this is Patagonia Organic Cotton, size small. These are little uh, gray shorts. It's the logo. So I don't know how well Patagonia shorts will do, but surely they'll do pretty decent, right? Anything by Patagonia does right okay this is also something Brittany gave me so many things that she didn't want but this is also something my sister-in-law didn't want um this is torrid which i don't really pass up on torrid unless it has like flaws but this is torrid size six which is a 6x which i checked on poshmark while i was there because i was like do they even have a size 6x um like listed on poshmark and they don't it goes up to 5x but i did find some size 6x items listed um you just can't like select the size you just have to type in 6x so but i'm like you know what this is in great condition it's so soft and there are 6x people out there and they're looking for clothes so i was like you know what i'll take it it's kind of heavy so i probably paid you know technically more than a dollar for it but um but it's it's in great shape it's cute yeah, so this is toward size six. Whoa, there is that pile. Okay, as long as this pile doesn't fall. All right, we've got a newborn onesie. She has so many clothes. And then this is something I got for my husband, even though he's really more of a large, not a medium, but he might, it might work for him. This is a Dickies jacket and it's like a thick, you know, winter jacket hooded. Um, yeah, this just looks like something my husband would wear. All right, this is a real basic top from Levi's. This is an extra large striped short sleeve top. It has this little logo here, and I thought it might, might be worth something. These are Nike Dry Fit 2X, 2X, um, sweatpants. And man, I cannot keep 2X around. So I, if I see it, I've got to get it. The, I really need to inspect this because I feel like I saw, when I wash these clothes, I think, I don't know, this looks fine. But when I wash these clothes, um, I found a couple pieces of like yarn that was this color. And I thought for sure it was one of these little flowers here. But... I'm not really seeing anything. I don't know. Maybe that's from something else. Okay, so this is North and Co. Size large. I don't know this brand, but this, like, the tag itself feels really nice. <laughs> it, like, it actually, like, feels nice. And it, like, looks nice. Here's the tag. Um, and it's a sweater. Really soft got this floral detailing um like I don't know what you call that like crocheted embroidered it's not really embroidered I don't know well anyway um yeah it's, it's like a light pinkish purple um I don't know I need to look into that but it seemed really nice um here's another one that I need to look into <laughs> do I know any of these brands I'm so sorry guys um, so this is JJ Cochran, size medium. It says made in the U.S. and it looks like 
it's good quality. So I had to get it. It's just a cardigan, a v V-neck cardigan with buttons and the back. It just, like just the quality, if you could feel this. Let me see what the material is. Oh, it's just 100% acrylic. Okay, well, I don't know. Made you ask, it just seemed nice. <laughs> I normally, I swear, if you're like new to watching, I swear I normally do like, I do better at like looking at brands and going over, you know, my items more thoroughly when I'm at the bins before I buy something. But just, I just ugh, don't have a ton of energy these days. <laughs> so like I'm already, I am like, out of breath and hot and tired already just from doing this all. Okay. This is a really cute bib. It just says always hungry. And it's got, of course, dinosaurs on it. This kid's gonna hate dinosaurs. Um, here's some little pants with a little bear on the butt. Here's a little onesie. No dinos. These are, uh, you know, regular animals. This is weatherproof vintage. Um, it is a size small washable linen. It says washable linen. So it's a short sleeve top that ties at the bottom. Such a pretty light blue color. And let's see what percentage of linen. 55% linen, 45% viscose. I love linen. I try to pick it up if I find it. And you can just like feel linen. Um, here's some little uh, boy pants. This is Banana Republic size large and it's a really cute sweater. I can't really show it properly. Oh my goodness, hold on. Here we go. So a really cute sweater. It's got buttons up here and yeah, it's just cute. Here's a little girl's uh, top. This is size 24 or so, or 24 months, excuse me. Um, so she's gonna have to hold on to this for a little while, but she'll need it one day. Um, here's a little newborn onesie. This is Athleta. These are balanced joggers, size medium. And this material is so soft, so soft. Here's the top. Oh, it just feels so nice. And it's like a, I don't know, like an oatmeal color, I guess. I know you can't tell because the lighting, sorry about the lighting, but I don't know, maybe like an oatmeal color. Okay, this is something I picked up for my husband, but after I got it, I was like, my husband's always sweating, like even in the winter, so he probably doesn't need something like this, even in the winter time. Um, but I don't know, I'm gonna have him try it on. See if he likes it or wants it. But this is, um, I don't know, this is Gary or Jerry, Gary. So um, it's French, right? I believe that's the French flag. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a very nice jacket. Very thick, heavy. Here's the material up close. So nice. And I believe this is um, the other item that had that glove in it. So I think this is the one that had the one glove. And I don't feel another glove right now, but maybe it'll turn up. Made in China. I thought it would have been made in France. Or wait, is that the Italian? What? No, that's France. That's France. I don't know, guys. All right, we've got American Eagle size four. Um like paper bag type, uh, kind of, not really. Um, they're almost like a linen-y pants. They're light pink. Let me see the material. Let me see if they are linen. Oh, 52% linen, look at that. 48% viscose. Okay, so a linen pant. So if you have linen, always put that in the description. Actually, like I even put it like in the title. Like I'll put like, if it's 100% linen, like that is like one of the first things I put, like I'll put the brand and I'll put 100% linen pant. Or if it's this, I'll put like linen blend pants because people love their linen. Okay, this is Jane and 
Delancey, Del Del I don't know. I don't know what it says. You tell me what it says. Um, but this is a 2X top, floral, and long sleeve, or, yeah, it looks like long sleeve. But yeah, I just got it because it it's very cute, and it's a 2X. And when I got this, like before I washed it, I saw that there was a stand-up top, but I actually think that it came out in the wash. I was going to stain treat it, and I forgot, but I think it came out without stain treating. All right, we're getting there, guys. I don't think you can see the pile anymore, so. All right, this is Motherhood Maternity, um, size medium. And it's a very, very cute long sleeve, like almost like a light sweater, but it's got this lace here on the sides. Man, the colors are really bad. You can't even see this color, I'm sorry. This is definitely like an oatmeal color. Yeah, I, I just got this for me. I know I probably won't need this during this pregnancy because we're in the summertime, but for the future, I might need it. Um, this is Ocean Drive, size medium, and it's a knit hoodie. Um, so, I'll, it's yeah, it's more of like a beachy like hoodie. So, I'll definitely put keywords like beach, beachy vacation, travel, you know, ocean, I mean, stuff like that. Here's a little girl's onesie with flamingos on it. Okay, I need to try this on, but my sister-in-law found this, and I was like, oh my gosh, I could maybe wear that for my maternity photos, because <laughs> they're this weekend, it's Monday, they're this weekend, and I don't have a dress yet. Ki well, that's kind of a lie. Okay, I just ordered one, like, right before this video, but, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it might not work, um, so this might be what I wear, I don't know, I'm going to try this on, but... Yeah, before today, I didn't have a maternity dress, so I need to try this, see if it'll fit. Um, this is Caution to the Wind. I haven't heard of that. And actually, I don't even think the size, like, you can't even see the size on here. Uh, actually, maybe that does say medium. It's hard to tell, but this is a very pretty white dress. And I've been, I was wanting a white dress for my maternity pictures. Stretchy, so soft. Um, and I've been struggling to find what I want that's not a hundred dollars. Um, so I ordered a blue dress today. It doesn't have any reviews though on Amazon, which I hate, but it was a good price and it is really cute. And so, I don't know, I'm just worried because I like always go off of reviews on, for things on Amazon. Um, this is Rebecca Minkoff. Minkoff. And I don't know that brand, of course, um, but it it's, seems like good quality, super soft. It's a large sweater and it's like a, it's a square neck style sweater. So love that, love the square neck. And then I found Barefoot Dreams for the first time ever. <laughs> is that sad? Um, so this is Barefoot Dreams Malibu collection, size small. Um, they're like pajama slash lounge pants and they are so soft. I've always heard people say that Barefoot Dreams is really soft and oh my gosh, like it is. Here's a little boy's shirt. Okay, almost done here. This is American Eagle. This is an extra, extra small, which might take a little while to sell, but that's okay. Um, it is... A, a cotton linen blend, so 65% cotton, 35% linen, and it is adorable. It's a halter um, dress, striped, multicolored. I had to get it. We've got Banana Republic, size small. This is a long lined cardigan. So crazy soft. Like, Oh my gosh, I'm so hot, but I really want to try this on. It is so soft and long and so pretty. I want a blanket like this. I don't want to take this off, but I'm really hot. Let me see what this material is. Wow, 71% acrylic, 23 or 27% nylon, 2% spandex. 
I was not expecting that. But yeah, crazy soft. Um, this is Maurice's. It's a size extra large and it's a sleeveless zip up jacket. It is long lined. It's got these big pockets on the front and it is hooded. Here's a little onesie. It says strong and smart like grandpa. We've got Lauren Conrad size large. Um, this is a maxi dress. And if it's a good condition maxi dress and a good size, I don't pass it up. Oh, this is Burt's Bees baby. I didn't know Burt's Bees made clothes, but this is a newborn uh, onesie, girls onesie with little pink swans on it. Okay, and last item up here is um, staring at stars. Staring at stars, size small um, dress. It's a like crocheted dress. Um, don't know anything about this brand, but it was nice and <laughs> that's why I got it. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend like actually looking at, you know, looking up comps while you're in the store. All right, the Ottoman made it, good job. Um, so that is everything up here. There are a few more items downstairs, so we'll go look at those next. All right, so the rest of the items were either items that I um, didn't want to wash because of the material, so like wool, things like that. Um, or it's new with tags. So I keep it bagged up for a while. All right, so the first item is this Banana Republic um, cardigan, and it's made with Italian yarn. It is a size large and like a tan brown with some maroon burgundy stripes. Very soft. And then we have a Madewell size medium sweater and it is ribbed, here's the back. This is 24% wool, so you definitely don't wanna wash wool. I'm sure most of you out there know, but, um, or it might actually be okay washing, but drying, you don't wanna dry it because you'll shrink it, and I've done that, so <laughs> don't do that. Um, this is Christian Berg uh, Pure Wool, and I'm, I'm not familiar with that. It looks very fancy. It's a size 36. And this is a sweater dress. So we've got pockets on the front. And it's like a, I guess like a brownish color. It's almost looking a little purple. But yeah, it, it looks so nice. Okay, not familiar with this brand, but this is Sally Lou. Here's the tag. It looks like almost like a vintage type tag, um, but this is made in the US and it's dry clean only. So I did not want to wash this, but it's a long sleeve dress. Um, it's got buttons down the back. And I I don't know, I, I don't think this is vintage. I don't know, it almost has vintage vibes, but like especially with the tag, I don't know though. I'll have to try to look it up. Um, one thing about this though is it is missing, it has a spot for like a waist belt and it is missing the belt. So that kind of stinks. Okay, I think, so I've had this bag sitting outside because I like to sit it outside when it's really hot and today's like a really hot day. And I put it out this morning because I knew it was gonna be like a hot day today. And um, I, I think the con there's like some condensation on it on like some of the items. It was like at the top of the bag and when I opened it, it like kind of went in. Um, so yeah, I think we have some condensation here. But um, These are Talbots, size 22, wide petite, jegging crop. Um, and these are like partially new with tags. Um, so they're like a light purple color. Um, it has this like part of a tag here. So I didn't want to wash it. Um, not that it has like a price or anything, you can just tell that it says Talbots. Um, here's the back. This is Bernardo. Not familiar with that either. This is a 3X um, jacket. And I was hoping it was real leather. Of course it's not, it's just like polyurethane. 
Um, but it's a size 3x jacket. It looks like it's in great condition. It's like a beige color. Um, so I couldn't pass on that. And last item is something I just got for my husband. Um, these are just like dress pants. The brand is Savan. 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 So new with tags, black dress pants. Um, it says they, they were sold at like, well, oh, actually it says the retail price was 68, but it looks like they were sold at like a TJ Maxx or something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have him try these on, but if they don't fit, I'm gonna keep the tags on so I can sell it. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep them back up for a while, so. Oh, and then I forgot, there is one more thing I got. Um, I got some metal baskets, um, gold. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use them for yet. Um, there's technically three of them, but I did just count it as one. I, technically, I could have counted it as three items, then my cost of goods would have went down, but they are so lightweight that I didn't, I don't know, I just counted them as one item. All right, and that is the end of the haul. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was. I love hearing that. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day, guys. Bye.